In one of my other videos, a subscriber has asked about how you get the K2K 2.0 board to show the voltage, like you see here on the screen where it says battery 11.5 volts. Um, the answer is actually a little bit of soldering, an extra pin that you need to connect to the board that doesn't come pre-installed. So what I'll do is I'm just about to set another KK 2.0 board up for another quad that I'm building, and um, what I'll do is actually show you where that pin goes and what that pin looks like when it's installed. But if I zoom out slightly, I'll kind of highlight it here. It's difficult to see because of the Armatan logo um, on top of the quad, but it's actually here uh, just to the left. So let me just get a better angle and hopefully you'll see it better. So here we are we're actually looking now at the front of the quad. Here's the LEDs I use for orientation. This, so this is the front of the board here, so the, the, this is the front propeller. Um, that's the connector for the buzzer. And then you can see there's that red pillar behind it, just by the side of a large, well, isn't that large, but it looks large in the video, yellow component on the board. That is where you need to connect the voltage from the battery from the positive voltage and that's the bit where the board reads it from so what I want to do is show you very quickly how I um, soldered that up and um, how you then put it together so here's a close-up of the KK 2.0 board the place where we need to put the pin is you can just see it to the left of this small yellow component there's a little hole here and that hole um, is the one that you need to solder a pin in. So what I'll do is I'll very quickly solder a pin into there and then show you what that looks like. So here's the pin installed in that slot by the yellow component. Um, you just need a dab, you need quite a fine tip soldering iron but it's it's on its own out of the way of all the other bits and pieces so um, it's quite easy to fit and what that means now is that I can slide over um, a connector. So I know some people actually solder the wire to this piece. Um, I use a pin. This is the way that I was shown how to do it by the first builder that I ever saw do it this way. And I think it's a nice neat solution. It means if I ever need to replace the board I can pull the pin for the voltage off just like everything else. So once you've got the pin attached you need to make the little cable that's going to slot over the top of the pin and be soldered onto the positive lead of the battery either at the connector or as part of the uh, the spider inside that sends the power around to the ESCs. Now on any um, servo lead you'll notice that there are these little teeth and using a pin you can pick them up and then it allows you to pull each of the strands out and what you end up is a wire like this. Now this is one um, out of the same one that I made the red one for. And what you end up with a little connector on one end and the other end that you can solder on. Now the nice thing is that using any pin really, uh, this thing it slide over the top and if you put some very small heat shrink over this um, then you can slide this over the pin on the board and you can connect the other end to the positive terminal of the battery. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So here we have the board in installed now and what I've done is I've actually um, connected that pin down through the bottom of the board. My, let me zoom out a little bit, it'll probably help it. And that red wire is soldered onto the back of one of these red connectors that goes into the speed controllers. So what you do is you just take um, a jump um, off the positive um, battery so that's either from the battery connector itself or from one of the connectors into the ESC or even if you have a PCP distribution board this one does but I don't use it I'm not a big fan of them um, you just connect it up so you that's getting 12 point odd volts in and that's where it reads the voltage from um, by the way this although it says Armatan at the top this isn't an Armatan quad it just happens that the bit of perspex that I had I had a spare one of those so I popped it on the top to protect the KK 2.0 so hopefully that helps, it's useful for those of you out there who are thinking of doing this or you have a KK 2.0 that doesn't show the battery voltage. The other nice thing on here is that you can set the battery voltage alarm to go off at a certain level so the pizza electric buzzer will start making noises and it will start beeping when it gets below a certain level. I set it for about 10.5 volts so when it goes under that I can hear it screeching in the air and I know I've got to land it. Thanks for watching, subscribe and comment. Happy flying!